Uh, the planet Mercury has moved from the down sky to the dusk in the evening and is getting uh, approaching the planet Venus. I tried today to see them for the first time in this year and uh, during the lockdown. So I was able to see it. You see the result after this. I will show the telescope view. Okay, I just spotted uh, Mercury. That's planet Venus. And down there at the center, I don't think you can see it, but I saw it with the binocular. That was the planet Mercury. Just exactly at the center. You cannot see it. This is the digital zooming on it. But anyway, nice, nice to know that it's there. So I made a good viewing of it now. The uh, crescent of the Venus is so huge that I can even see it with the uh, 750 binocular, 7 times by 50 millimeter binocular. I'm now getting it by the mobile phone. It's uh, a tiny bit less than one arc minute. So one arc minute, 60 arc minute makes one degree. So it's around 30 times smaller than the moon in the, I mean, in the sky. But I'm getting it with this 26 millimeter Celestron eyepiece very easily. So I'm now using the 4mm otoscopic. So I have the planet Mercury now. I'm looking with the 4mm Ramston eyepiece. Really good, really good image. I like it. So, my effort to see the planet Venus and the planet Mercury paid off. I used my binocular first, 7x80, 7x50, the Russian. Then I used my, this is cheap, Elux 25mm Plusle from Celestron. Then I changed to the Auto 4.8mm, very cheap, and to the cheapest eyepiece that I have. That's the 4mm uh, symmetrical Ramstein. A really good eyepiece for planetary viewing. I wish they had something like two millimeter or something. Really good quality. And because it's light, it doesn't affect my balance of the telescope. And I was able to get capture both of the planets. That's Venus. Just a little bit down there, I could see the uh, the other one, which was Mercury. Really impressive result. I'm really happy with the result. You can see hints of the crescent of Venus in this. So today or tonight I was able to prove that we can watch the, we can capture the, with the cheapest equipment, the most elusive planet, that's Mercury. And that really pays. And with the cheapest telescope, this is the telescope people buy, not because it's a good telescope on its own. It's a good telescope on its own, of course, but it has a lot of chromatic aberration. You use it because they want to use it as a gyroscope, a cheap finder scope practically for guiding for astrophotography expensive gear so i've proven that i can do with this some serious uh, you know observation seeing venus and then mercury mercury the elusive planet of course if you have to know this is the sky watcher sky watcher sdat I, I like it because it's versatile i can put it in this topsonian mount of the 
uh, Sky Watcher Heritage, which also, no, not which also Heritage. I love these Stephsonian mounts. They're so good for any any telescope to be attached to it. Uh, 